Hello, dear students. Welcome back for Unit 7, Lesson 3, uh, the Modal Verbs Passive. In the previous le lesson, we talked about how to change the tenses, all the kind of tenses, from active to passive. Now we change. We talk about the modal verbs. That's how are we are going to change from active to passive. First of all, we have the rule. This is the rule of uh, uh, modal verbs in active form. So the, the sentence like that. Subject, which is started by subject, plus has to, have to, or had to, can, may, will, must, or ought to, could, might, will, should. So the modal verbs after the subject, it should be one of the modal verbs appear in the sentence. That's the, uh, after that we can call the sentence a modal verb. After that, it's followed by base plus object plus complement. So the verb in modal verb, which, which is base, and after that, object and complement. If we change uh, active to from uh, from active to passive, the rule became like that. Object at the beginning, plus has to, have to, had to. Also, we have to rewrite all of them. Can, may, will, must, or ought to. Could, might, would, or should. They are followed by be plus past participate of the verb and complement. Let's see an example. For example, he has to see me at the conference. He has to see me at the conference. As you see, we have has to here which is the modal verb, and we have me, which is object, so it became like that, if you change to passive. Me it became I, we have to re rewrite um, uh, has to, so it became have to, why? Because we have I, so it became I have to, after I have to, there should be be, okay, and after be, we have to change the, the verb of the sentence from present to past participle or pp, so it became seen. At the conference, which is the complement of the sentence. Another uh, sentence, she must prepare the lesson today. She must prepare the lesson today. So it became like that. The lesson, the lesson must be prepared by her. The lesson must be prepared by her. Why I use by her? Because sometimes the sentence or the question asks to use by. If, 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 if it's asked to use by, so the sentence will be like that. The, the lesson must be prepared by her. So we cannot write she at the end of the uh, sentence. We cannot write single pronoun. So you have to change she to object pronoun. So the, the object pronoun of she is her. So it became the lesson must be prepared by her. Another one, the boy can drive the car. The boy can drive the car. As you see, we have can here, which is a modal verb, and the car which is object, so it became like that. The car, the car can be driven. The car can be driven. We write can again. After the can, we add be, and drive became driven. The car can be driven. This is all about the modal verb passive. Okay, let's uh, see what is the summary of this lesson. This is the, uh, the, the modal verbs, or we can say a brief rule of uh, modal verbs in passive way. So modal verbs at the beginning plus be plus past participle. For example, pancakes can be made on a stove. Pancakes can be made on a stove. This is the passive sentence or another uh, sentence. Bikes may be ridden on, on this bike path. Bikes might be ridden on this bike path. As you see, in both th the sentences we have object which is pancakes and bikes can and may, which is the modal verb. Also, you have to write be again after the modal verb is made or written. They are the past participate of the verbs. And on a stove or on this bike path, they are the complement of the uh, sentence. This is all about uh, the modal verb is passive. I hope you understand very well. Thank you very much.